This is the first of two lectures dealing with electromagnetic radiation and energy. The first will be on the basic light equations. The next lecture will be on light and energy. They should be watched in consecutive orders before trying the worksheets. So as I said, this one will be on electromagnetic radiation. And electromagnetic radiation, or EMR, is a way of delivering energy. And we're going to look at EMR as a wave. One thing to note is that light is a subset of EMR. Now you know what a wave is. It is a oscillating function as you look at it on a graph. And we need to define some terms. The first term we need to define is wavelength. And wavelength has that funny looking symbol. That is a Greek lowercase l called lambda. And wavelength is the distance from the top of one wave to the top of the other, or crest to crest. We use meters as the measurement, but you may use any of the metric prefixes with this. So a wavelength can be in meters, kilometers, nanometers, millimeters, etc. And you can see that the wavelength goes from point A to point B. The other thing we need to know is the frequency. And that funny looking V is actually a Greek lowercase n called nu. And the frequency is how many waves pass by a reference point in one second. The units used here are per second, or seconds to the minus one, or hertz. And here is an example of a high frequency radio wave and a low frequency radio wave. Frequency is how many waves per second past a reference point. For any type of wave, the speed of the wave is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. I don't like to write out the long words, so we can say the speed of a wave is equal to lambda nu. Now it turns out that the speed of EMR in a vacuum is a constant. This constant is a measured value and it rounds to 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. This is the speed of light. So this is equal to C. That is the symbol that is used. And yes, this is the same C as an E equals MC squared. And so for EMR, we can say that C is equal to lambda nu. But since we know what C equals to, we can now say 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second equals lambda nu. Probably something you want to put on your note cards. Do note that lambda and nu have an indirect relationship. As one value increases, the other value must decrease. And if you look at this going from the right side of the picture to the left, you see that the Frequency increases from left to right, but that the wavelength decreases. They are an inverse relationship. Also note that the visible spectrum of light takes up a very small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. So here's the first example, and we'll do this one together. What is the frequency of a wave that has a wavelength of 4.00 times 10 to the minus 3 meters? First question to ask for all of these is what do we know? We know that C equals lambda nu. We know that C equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. We know the wavelength, because that's given in the problem. What we don't know is the frequency. But if you look, we know two out of the three variables in this equation. So all we have to do now is just plug and chug. So we set the equation up. We divide both sides by 4 times 10 to the minus 3 to isolate the new, or get the new by itself. And you end up with 0 0.750 times 10 to the 11th per second equals the frequency, but this is not in correct scientific notation. Move the decimal point to the right by one decimal point, so you got to decrease the exponent by one, and you get 7.50 times 10 to the 10th per second equals the frequency. Example two is going to be your turn. WKBK AM broadcasts at a frequency of 1290 kilohertz, or 1.290 times 10 to the 6 hertz. What's the wavelength of the radio signal? Go. The correct answer is 233 meters. How did we get this? First, what do you know? You know that C equals lambda nu. You know what the value of C is. Oh, by the way, it has three significant figures. We don't know what the wavelength is. That's what the question is asking. We do know what the frequency is, and the frequency has four significant figures. Once again, we know two out of the three variables. So we plug and chug, set up the equation, divide both sides by 1.290 times 10 to the sixth 
per second, which will leave the lambda by itself. Do the math out and you get this number. But remember, the 3.00 is three sig figs. The 1.290 is four sig figs. So the answer should have three significant figures. So it turns out to be 2.33 times 10 to the second meters, which is the same as 233 meters, which is the wavelength, or the distance between the crest of each of the waves from the radio tower is two and a third times the length of a football field. On to example three for you to do. Sodium vapor lamps, which are frequently seen on the highway, emit a yellow light. The frequency of this light is 5.10 times 10 to the 14th hertz. What is the wavelength in nanometers of this light? Your turn, go. The correct answer is 588 nanometers. Once again, to go through it stepwise, what do you know? We know what C equals. We know the value of C. We don't know lambda. We do know nu. So now we just need to plug and chug. Once again, set the equation up in the normal manner. Divide both sides by 5.1 times 10 to the 14th per second. You get this number for the number of meters, but we want the answer in nanometers. Remember that there are 1 times 10 to the 9th nanometers for each meter. So we're going to multiply by that fraction, and we get 0.588 times 10 to the 3rd nanometers. This is an incorrect scientific notation, so we move the decimal point to the right by 1. Decrease the exponent by 1, and you get 5.88 times 10 to the second nanometers. So the correct answer is 5.88 times 10 to the second nanometers, which is the same as 588 nanometers, which is equal to lambda. So in review, for any set of waves, the wavelength is the distance between the top of each wave. The frequency is how many waves per second pass a reference point. For any wave, the speed of the wave is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. For electromagnetic radiation, the speed of the wave is a constant which has been measured at 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Therefore, we can say that 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second equals lambda nu, which means that lambda and nu are indirectly related. As one increases, the other must decrease. Now you need to go on to the next lecture, which is on the relationship between energy and electromagnetic radiation. And in the final lecture of the series, we're going to combine what you know about orbits and orbitals and what you will know about energy and light and combine the two to discuss what's called atomic spectrum.